Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Silence of the Lambs by Different Dimensions. I have started off with Neltik's Formula 2 and here is Different Dimension, Silence of the Lambs. It's a beautiful orange with some crazy shimmer going on. This was from the Shimmer Me box October 2017. I've topped it off with some Crystal Clear by Salon Perfect and I'll be using these Revlon I mean these CoverGirl polishes to fill in my design. It's seared bronze and then we have rogue red and inferno. Now I missed the part where I stamped this but as you can see I'm using you are beautiful plate number 18 and that is the image that I used right there. I'm cleaning that plate up real quick. Sorry about that. And I'm just taking my dotting tool and using those CoverGirl polishes. I'm just kind of filling in the leaves. And I'm not really doing it with any like particular pattern in mind. I'm just kind of dotting the different shades in. You know, the orange and the red and the kind of bronzy brown color. I really wanted to do something cool over this orange polish. And I have a confession. I did wear the orange polish for like two or three days on its own before I decided to what I was going to do with this one. Sometimes I have to get it on my nails and look at it and just kind of, kind of, I like eye buy and I was trying to eye buy and figure out what I was going to do with it. But these polishes are going on really well with the dotting tool. You know, I'm not going to have to go over them. I'm just going to kind of swipe over them the once and be done with it. And I am cleaning off my little dotting tool in between each you know each round unless I get sloppy here in a minute I might get lazy and just kind of do whatever but I do love love this look I was really excited about sharing it with you trying to get some of my fall manis in before it's time for winter manis and look at that gorgeous so I'm gonna let this just dry down and I'm not going to put any clear coat on it or anything. I'm just going to, after I get completely done filling it in, I'm going to apply this yellow stopper to the nails that I'm applying the decals, which will be my thumb and my ring finger. I've got the yellow stopper already on so that it's tacky. And these decals went on just perfectly. I didn't have any problems with it. Very easy. I like easy. And I did think about doing this on all the nails, but you know, sometimes I just need to kind of slow down, take a break, and just do accent nails, you know. I have to do all of them accent nails. I'm going in with Woody and just kind of breaking that excess off of the edge, kind of scraping it off, trying to get some of the bigger hunks removed so that I'm not just smearing them around with acetone here in just a minute. And I'm making sure to tap them all down. And here I'm just going to try to peel off just a little bit of that excess underneath. Because there's quite a bit of overhang there. And you could just melt this in and, you know, leave it like it is. But I can't leave that alone. So I'm going in with my acetone and my cleanup brush. And I'm just kind of trying to get up as much as I can. And melt that decal onto the nail on the sides and everything. I'm trying to do a little bit of cleanup under there. Ooh, what a mess. But you know, sometimes nail art is messy. But sometimes the biggest messes I make end up being some of the coolest manicures. So it's worth it for me. And I'm going in again with the acetone, just going around it. Um, kind of melting the decal down to my nail a little bit, especially around the edges, and cleaning it up because, you know, with it being all funky looking, I'm not really liking the look of that. And these are glittery, shimmery polishes that I did the decal with, so there's going to be a little bit of glitter bling bling going on all over. Get most of it up, but then later it'll just come off when I wash my hands. was very, very excited about this orange polish though, I can tell you. 
So I'm going to top this one off today, and I am using the Salon Perfect Crystal Clear Top Coat. I really do like it. It didn't smear this design at all, and it did a really good job of sealing my design in, and it was glossy. It dried fast, so I really did like that. So there we go. And there's my thumb, a little blurry, but it's got all that blinging going on. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.